child. But I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malak? You're a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words. But I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'd be a quick strike by the Republic and cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. What's that? Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. Alright, now I can talk. Actually, someone pointed out to me in the comments of some of the earlier videos where I was complaining about how difficult this uh, turret is to manage, that using the arrow keys is actually way easier. And god is it ever, I can actually track these guys now. I mean, oh my god. And you can see, there's the that blue planet in the Starforge system, and there is the Starforge. We must be getting close to end game. Oh, this actually these arrow keys are a little clunky. Shoot the Starforge! Let's just destroy it right now. No, no, unfortunately we can't do that. God, these arrow keys are so much easier to control the turret with. All right, now I can't talk anymore. Ooh, a different swooping motion variety. Oh, we've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Isn't it always a rough landing when someone says this may be a rough landing? Endor! Well, it didn't look all that rough, except for the you know, whole flames thing. Whew! Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. 
During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the hulls of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. That disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet. You're right. That Sith fleet we saw must have some type of protection against the disruptor field. We have to find a way to disable it, or the Republic will be slaughtered. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Hey, I thought we needed to find some stabilizers for the ship. The stabilizers won't do much good if we don't disable that disruptor field first. Otherwise, we'll end up crashing back down to the planet's surface again, and this time, we might not survive. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her, too. I only True, my woman's down to. here. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him, and the Sith will be invincible. Even together, they are no match for me. I used to be the Sith Lord, you remember? I remember, though I hoped you would not be so quick to embrace the being you once were. If Bastila feels as you do, then she is lost to us, Revan. I have no choice. I have to embrace what I once was. And yes, I may use the dark side of... I, I may draw on the dark side every once in a while, but that does not make me evil. However... The truth remains that if Bastil has joined Malak, then it is inevitable that she must suffer the same fate as he does. Let us hope it does not come to that. Well, if Bastil is on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Ah. Uh. And I love this scene just because everybody's in it. Like Juhani, who, god, how many videos has it been since she's made an appearance at all? Although, we'll be seeing quite a bit more of her. Um, I don't think Zalbar said anything, or HK, but I think everybody else did. So, without further ado, I suppose we should be going down a- Hey, where are you going? We can't leave the planet yet. Remember those wrecked ships we saw? We need to salvage some new stabilizers, or the Ebon Hawk won't even be able to get off the ground. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's uh, that way, isn't it? Yes, I know this ship. I've I've been getting used to this ship for a long time. Anyway, I suppose we don't really have time to put this in another part because of all those cutscenes. So next time on Knights of the Old Republic, we will. I'll meet you on the central beach of this mysterious Starforge system planet of which the Republic has no records whatsoever. I will see you then. This has been KBM, vengeful as always. So long.